that. And we also have to remember, brothers and sisters, that at the time of Prophet the Bedouin who used to live in desert, they spoke the most beautiful Arabic, not the city dwellers. So what used to happen? The people, the rich people who could afford, they used to send their tiny children to live in the desert, in the open fresh air, eh? and learn the culture and the language from the Bedouin. So our Prophet ﷺ was given to Bibi Halima, and she took and nursed him in the desert for a few years, you know. So they spoke the most beautiful Arabic, brother and sister. And this is where the Quran comes. What they spoke, Quran is better than what they spoke. And they understood that this language is not a work of a human being. This is somebody who's supernatural, can, all, can only produce this kind of a work. That is why Quran is a miracle. And miracle is its language, brother. Huh? It's language. When you translate in English, that miracle is gone. Huh? That miracle cannot touch you. So we have to learn the language to, uh, to receive the Quran in its original matan and it can touch our heart. And brother and sister, I always feel uh, if you speak a classical Arabic, I think that will be a great sunnah. <laughs> you are speaking like the way Prophet and all the Asahabas spoke. Brother. Pure language, uh, not polluted. Today, Arabic has become polluted, you know. And Allah knows, you know, inshallah someday we will all speak beautiful language. Huh? But when we try to speak, we will make sure we do not pollute it. Any polluted word, out. We don't want to speak. We want to speak pure Arabic, inshallah.